Hi guys, I'm here today to give you some advice on buying ribbon rolls. Um, I noticed that there are quite a few people who are very disappointed with their decisions and so I thought I'll, I'll make this video and if I have just one person that's good enough for me. So, uh, the first and most important thing is don't rush into it. So give it some time, look around and never buy the, the first doll that you see. Uh, Marley, who's here with me today, uh, I bought her after months and months of researching and looking and she was actually for sale on Instagram before I even found her, but I wasn't on Instagram back then and I didn't know. So I was following her artist on, on YouTube and and the first time I saw her I immediately fell in love with her and uh, I just, uh, I didn't even know that she's for sale. She, the artist, she just mentioned it once in one video, in one changing video that, oh by the way, Isley is for sale. <laughs> that just jumped on it. I was like, oh, oh my god, I want that baby. But uh, she truly is a very, very good artist and uh, I was really, really lucky because I I was able to buy her for, I think, way too cheap. <laughs> you see, you see like uh, babies who are like not, not as pretty as her, not as well done as her, go for more. So I was, I was just, I was so happy and I love her so much. So I absolutely have no regret at all. I will, I, I didn't rush into it. I think I got into um, reborns. I started looking around uh, around this time last year, like uh, January. I think it was January, and then in February I got my uh, Ashton Drake doll, and I should not have done that. I mean, it's a cute doll and everything, but uh, I should have waited more. So this is my first advice to you. Uh, do not rush into it. I know that it's hard. I know that you know you just want to have a baby, but but it's better to wait than uh, you know just buy a baby and then be disappoint disappointed with it. So that's really a very important thing. Uh, second thing is uh, the price. So if you are if you are buying a reborn doll and you see a doll for like two hundred dollars, do not expect that doll to be pretty. Do not expect the doll to be well painted. And do not expect the doll to be like, you know, a beautiful doll. Even if it has beautiful pictures, because pictures can be misleading. I uh, I noticed it uh, quite a few times that uh, pictures, really, they just uh, post some pretty pictures and then a person who buys the doll based on those pictures then gets disappointed later because uh, the doll in person does not look like the pictures at all so uh, oh yeah the price so for I I recommend not even buying a, a doll if you only have two hundred dollars to spend it's better to save up so like I did I uh, I saved up for months and months and and I got her in August so that was more than six months and uh, mm. I, I can only recommend this. I, I cannot recommend this enough to not rush into it. Uh, you have more time to research, you have more time to save up and I know that some of you might not believe me, might not believe what I say, but really do not expect a doll to be pretty if it costs 200 uh, dollars, even 200 euro or 200 pound, I, I wouldn't say. I personally do, I, I don't agree with uh, dolls that cheap being called reborns. They are not reborns. They they, they haven't been through the, the full proper reborning process, therefore they are not reborns. And they are listed as reborns and they cost $200 but, but uh, all that has been done to them probably is a little blushing. They did their uh, nails probably and and maybe even rooted some ugly hair so <laughs> really I'm, I'm not kidding if you 99% of the time if you buy a doll for $200 you will be disappointed with it. it will not look as beautiful as her 
it will not have the beautiful complexion and I mean just look at these nails everything about her is so perfect so the next thing uh, I want to mention is uh, pictures 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 you have to ask the artist to send you pictures if it's a completed doll and uh, not just of the face you have to ask for pictures of the feet of the arms of the the back of the head the ears many times artists don't pay attention and and there's a lot of paint uh, rem remaining in the ears and it's like really really ugly like a pool of paint in the ear dried and uh, the pictures have to be clear so if the artist is sending you like uh, blurry pictures with like darkness <laughs> then just uh, you know just uh, close the window skip to just go to the next doll and just forget about that because uh, that person is probably not an honest person if uh, if she's not sending you clear pictures and they might see say like uh, oh my camera is broken oh my camera is uh, at my friend's house oh my dog ate my camera you know just borrow one and just make better pictures if the artist is uh, shady about this and, and is not sending you clear pictures just uh, you know forget about the doll don't buy it because you will be disappointed and uh, and uh, it's just it it bothers me to no end that I see this every day that uh, people get ripped off by or I'm not, I'm not even saying the artists because they're just doll makers they just make some dolls and just uh, it's just so upsetting to me I, I don't like I don't like it at all so when you're buying a doll to sum it up uh, do not rush into it uh, a cheap you you get what you buy so if it's cheap if it's two hundred dollars then you better not even spend it so just save and and uh, do not buy if it's so cheap mm, I know that uh, some people might not agree with me but most of the people and the people who buy quality reborns will agree that under four hundred dollars you will not get a, a quality reborn uh, Isley was back then Isley now Marley uh, she was three hundred and fifty dollars bald and that was like an amazing price for her I mean that was that was just an amazing price for her really given her her quality and uh, and don't forget about the pictures so um, ask for pictures of uh, the whole doll and not only like uh, zoomed out like this just ask ask for pictures like close-ups close-up of the face close-up of the hair it's not gonna focus now is it gonna oh yeah it's focusing now so make sure that uh, there's no you know painting mistakes on the doll I know that it's hard for a beginner I mean I'm still a beginner too but I can tell I uh, I can tell it if it, if the doll is ugly. So, <laughs> uh, just uh, don't rush into it. Really, that's the most important thing. And uh, I hope this helped some of you guys. And I hope uh, that you will keep these things in mind. And when you buy a reborn, you won't rush into it because then you will get disappointed. And uh, if uh, you say that you cannot save up and and two hundred dollars is all or one fifty is all that you can spend and you want to get a doll like you cannot live without a doll and you want to get a doll and you want it right now then I really recommend buying an Ashton Drake because they are of a standard quality and if you buy an Ashton Drake for one hundred and fifty dollars or around one hundred dollars it will be a better quality than a reborn for the same amount of money I'm not kidding so just think about it and let me know if you have something else to add I, I probably forgot a bunch of things so I might uh, do like a follow-up video or something but for now 
that's it and uh, thank you guys for watching bye